there and welcome along to Hive Live Extra, your place for exclusive reaction and analysis following another victory for the Hornets, this time here at Vicarage Road. We have beaten Birmingham City by three goals to nil. Ken Semmer, and Nathaniel Chalibur and Andre Gray, the three goal scorers this afternoon. And uh, three very happy people here in the studio between us. I'm joined once more by two former Hornets in Martin Taylor and Paul Robinson. And uh, yeah, the perfect way to end what's been a, a brilliant few weeks before the players go off for international break, Martin. Yeah, I mean, first of all, fantastic result today. I think it was a, a game that, looking at it really, they the, the needed the three points from just to keep the pressure on the other teams. And they got that. The, the players and the manager will be really pleased in the dressing room. Probably wasn't the best performance they've had over the last few weeks, but I think that'll be forgotten very quickly as they move on to the next game. I think that three points before the in international break was vital. Hmm. It was the perfect start for the Hornets getting that early goal, wasn't it? But the two goals that came next, they were so important, weren't they? Just to make sure we killed this game off. Yeah, because you never know which way the game's going to go. So that, that goal early on was really important. Um, obviously then going into the second half, knowing that Birmingham would come at them, uh, to get that goal from the set piece just, just settled a lot of nerves down and you could see that in the team started to play a little bit more better um, and then to get the third goal yeah it, it just it just felt comfortable in the end for for, uh, for Watford. Mm. Again another game where Watford were able to show their strength in depth no Ishmael Asar um, in, in that starting lineup, but ultimately it didn't matter everyone played their part Martin. Yeah it's huge um, they've got players out in jet got really important players out in jet and they can still put the players on the pitch and have a bench that they can look to as well I think that being able to bring Andre Gray on, he'll have been sat on the bench desperate to get on, he'll have seen it at 2-0, he'll be looking at it thinking, I want to be on this pitch, I'll get a chance and I'll score. And he does straight away, but it's, it's an embarrassment of riches really for them and they need to be able to use it, which they are at the moment, and that's one of the reasons why they're on such a good run. Mm. What pleased you the most, Robbo? It almost feels a bit unfair again, picking out individual performances, because we said that everyone played their part. But for you, what do you think the main positive was to take away from today? I think, again, another, another clean sheet. Um, you build from the back and, yeah, they look, they look very solid. It, it, even though what for, um, Birmingham did throw quite a lot of them from set pieces point of view and the long throws, um, Watford dealt with it really well. Siriata stood out at the back for me, we looked very comfortable and solid. Will Hughes just kept things ticking along. Nathaniel again with, with his goal and his leadership in, in the captaincy. But I thought Sanchez, when he came on as well, really liked him. Really looked, uh, looked the part in breaking play up and, and just calmed the game down. His experience brought calm. Well, one of the names that Robbo mentioned there, Francisco Sierralta. He scored on Tuesday night in the win over Rotherham United. Played a key part again today. And we can hear from him now exclusively on Hive Live Extra. Well, thank you very much, Francisco, for joining us here in the Hive Live studio. Also to Gianmarco, uh, who's kindly agreed to translate uh, this interview. Um, it felt like a really big moment again here in the studio today when we beat Birmingham City by three goals to now. It's been a huge week. Did it feel like a big moment for Francisco as well and the team? Francisco, another partido very important. Ganando 3 0 contra Birmingham. Un momento muy importante por equipo. Todo está yendo bien. ¿Tú sientes esta atmósfera? Sí, eh, estamos todos muy felices por los resultados que se están dando. Tenemos que continuar así. Y el partido hoy día que pudimos disfrutar, pudimos jugar bien, pudimos ganar y mantener al con cero. Al final yo creo que el equipo está contento por eso. Sí, es un muy buen momento. Tenemos que seguir adelante. Obviamente, hoy día ganamos 3-0. Es un gran felicidad para el equipo. Todo el mundo sabe esto, pero tenemos que seguir adelante y disfrutar el momento. Well, we're having so much fun watching this Watford team. How much are you enjoying being part of it? Nos hemos divertido mucho y nos estamos divirtiendo mucho viendo este equipo. ¿Y cuánto te estás divirtiendo tú jugando? Eh, la verdad yo me estoy divirtiendo harto. Disfrutar ser un equipo protagonista, tener el balón, moverlo. Yo creo que es un fútbol que a toda persona le gusta jugar. Así que lo bueno es que estamos ganando, estamos jugando bien y estamos disfrutando. It's so much fun because obviously we try to keep control of the game. We have the ball for the majority of the game. We move the ball. So it's very, very fun. And uh, we have to enjoy and keep going like this. Mm. I said it's been a huge week for Watford. Um, for you personally as well, playing a key part today, getting the goal against Rotherham United. How important was that goal? Because for us, it felt like perhaps it was the only thing missing from Francisco's game. But now he's finally got that. Sí, hemos hablado de una semana muy importante para ti también porque has marcado tu primer gol y era algo que pensábamos que solo por tus prestaciones, solo te faltaba el gol. ¿Cómo te sientes ahora que eso ha llegado contra Rotterdam? Eh, bien, pero no, no siento que es algo importante. Al final 
importante ganar, eh, seguir sumando puntos, si puedo aportar con goles, feliz, si no, bien también, importante ganar y seguir sumando. I feel very good, obviously I'm very happy for the goal, but it's not too important for me. The important one is the team keep winning, then if I score or not, that's not the main thing. The view from the fans, I think, is that, Francisco, you're one of those first names on the team sheet now. You're so important to this Watford side um, and what they're doing. I just wondered, you know, when you look back and reflect what that means to you now and how pleased you are with your journey at Watford and how well it's going. Ahora tú eres uno de los jugadores más importantes porque siempre estás jugando y por, para los aficionados también. Si tú piensas a tu aventura desde, a, desde ahora en el Watford, ¿qué es que tú sientes? ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles son tus sensaciones? Eh, ahora, la verdad, me siento bien, contento con el momento del equipo. Seguro que el principio de temporada no fue todo fácil, no fue todo color de rosa, como se dice. Pero al final con esfuerzo, con mentalidad, con esperar el momento y cuando llegó ese momento aprovecharlo. Y ahora seguir disfrutando, seguir jugando y seguir ayudando al equipo, que es lo importante. So I'm very happy for myself and for the team. Obviously, now it's going well, but at the beginning of the season it wasn't that easy because mm. I didn't play, it was, were no happy days, but I carried on working a lot with mentality, putting effort every day, and now it's paying off. Yeah, tell us about your relationship now with the other players in the defensive unit because it looks to us like you all get on so well, you can play so well together, but what's, what's your experience been like? What is your relation with the other components of the defense? Because it seems that you understand very well, you play very well. Can you say something more about that? Yes, yes. At the end, well, the topic of the language, I'm with Kiko, I'm speaking Spanish, with Massini Italian and with Will Italian, and that's why we talk a lot. But well, beyond the language, pero nos ayudamos siempre cuando un compañero falla estamos los otros como para ayudar que yo creo que eso es lo, lo importante. So first of all, when someone makes a mistake, everyone is always um, happy to help and always available for each other. Obviously, the language helps as well because with Kiko we speak Spanish, with the Conga Mazina we speak Italian. Uh, so it's actually a very important part of our relationship at, at the back. Another clean sheet today. You know, you're so solid as as a unit. Uh, with the, the run of form Watford are in, is there pressure that comes with that or is it just fun every time they're going out to play? Otro partido sin conceder gol, eh, está pasando muchas veces, esto es más una presión o es más un divertimento para jugar? No, o sea, yo no entro el partido logrando al final, queriendo el arco en cero, lo importante es ganar. Si ganamos y después podemos lograr arco en cero, contento, pero no es algo que yo me vuelvo, no, volvemos loco, no, clean sheet, clean sheet. Nosotros necesitamos ganar, necesitamos jugar bien. Si se puede lograr el clean sheet, contento. Si no, y ganamos, contento igual. So everyone goes on the pitch to win the game. Then if we can keep the clean sheet, that's better. If not, it's fine. The important one is winning and play well. Mm. But no one is going to make a fuss if we concede a goal. And on Cisco, what's your relationship like with him? He seems to really value you as a player. Y con el entrenador, ¿cuál es tu relación? Porque parece que te, te está valorando mucho como jugador. Sí, eh, muy buena relación. Al final el técnico apenas llegó me dio la confianza y yo trato de demostrarlo dentro de la cancha que no se equivocó al escogerme. Very good relationship. Ever since he joined the club, he gave me uh, this confidence and uh, obviously it's up to me to, to get it back to him with my performances. Mm. Just finally, today at the time of recording as well, it's looking very good for Watford in the championship table, in second, going into this international break. Uh, the fans very excited about where this team might go in promotion. What's the belief like in the squad? How do you feel about it, Francisco? Ahora, mientras que estamos hablando, estamos en segunda posición. Los aficionados están muy contentos, contentos y tienen, saben, muchas ganas por de saber dónde este equipo puede llegar. Si vamos a subir, ¿cuál es tu sensación? Eh, obviamente que el sueño que todos tenemos, pero no, no es algo que se tiene que lograr ahora. Nosotros estamos trabajando partido, 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 y después cuando termine el campeonato vemos si nos alcanzó o no. Yo creo que nosotros tenemos que seguir disfrutando, seguir jugando bien, y obviamente si eso ayuda a subir, es extra, extraordinario. This is the dream. Everyone is working for it, but we are not obsessed, because now it's time to work and not to celebrate the still eight games. This is the dream, we work for this, and if he comes uh, good, and obviously if he comes playing well, even better. Okay, we'll leave it there. Well done today. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you.
Uh, I hope that next season I can have an interview in English because <laughs> I, I don't feel too good uh, with translations. Oh, not at all. It's just great to have you in here. So thank you for your time and keep up the good work. Thank you. So a great result here for the Hornets at Vicarage Road and uh, so far at the time of recording results elsewhere have gone in our favour as well. Uh, Brentford during their game, they're now seven points behind Watford in fourth and at the time of recording again Swansea City still yet to play this afternoon against Cardiff uh, but they are six behind Watford in third with two games in hand as it stands. But Martin, the point is that table is looking very healthy isn't it? The, yeah, the current table looks great for Watford. Um, I think from, from where the were a couple of months ago I think they'll be, they'll be really pleased they'll have looked at these chunk of games up until the international break and hoped for a amount of points out of them and I'm sure they've exceeded that so mm. yeah they'll be really happy at the moment on that subject actually I think we can take a look at exactly where the Hornets were um, around mid-February yes February the 12th so the Hornets down in four 48 points I think we're now on 75 well, by, it's hard to find the words, isn't it, yeah. for what they've done in, in that space of time. But just how critical could this run of form be come the end of the season? Oh, it's in their favour, Watford's favour now. They've, they've got the momentum, uh, they've got the togetherness. You can see that in the games that they're playing. They're winning some games ugly now and not, and, and not getting the fluent games that we're seeing. Especially like today, they wasn't fluent, but they won the game 3-0. Mm. And that's important because now you're putting pressure on all the teams around you to keep performing week in, week out. Watford are in a real good position and it's, it's really good to see. Mm. Yeah, it's a shame almost we do have this international break because I think all of us collectively would just like to see this Watford team continue to play midweek Saturday, midweek Saturday. Uh, but there are players that will be going off uh, on their travels, playing for their respective countries. A few in the starting lineup uh, this afternoon. So Ken Semmer going off uh, with Sweden, William Trooster Kong, Dan Backman, uh, just to name a few, Adam Cena as, as well. I mean, it's a great thing that we have so many talented players in this squad, Martin, but in the same breath, you just hope that they all come back in one piece because they're all so vital to what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, they've had the continuity over the last weeks. They've had, they've been keeping a similar team. And um, the manager's been able to pick. So, yeah, he'll definitely want them back. He'll not want any problems at all. It goes without saying, doesn't it? But he'll also want them to go away and do well for the country. So if they can continue that, playing for the national teams, more, more the better. But he'll work hard with the, with the guys who are still at the training ground. Give him a bit of a break, I'm sure. And um, he'll just hope by the middle of next week that he's got everyone back and he can put the team he wants to out. Yeah, which will be a big weekend on their return. So just a reminder of what is uh, coming up on the Friday. We'll be in action against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, so that is a three o'clock kickoff Friday afternoon, a good Friday from two o'clock. We'll be with you for a full hour of Bill. Robbo, you're back with us alongside uh, Micah High. So looking forward to that. And if you uh, would like to, you can put your questions to our guests uh, as part of the FAQs feature. So Hive Live at Watford FC, uh, dot com. And uh, you can join us in the usual place, watfordfc.com forward slash hive live. But yeah, from you, Rob, I think all of us are a little bit nervous about the games to come because, mm. you know, eight big games to go now, especially that cluster of three or four uh, at the end. But hopefully you can get off to a flying start again on Easter weekend. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Sheffield Wednesday are down there fighting for their lives to get out, get out of the um, bottom three. So again, it's going to be another test for Watford. The players coming back from international duty as well, like how are they going to be when they go into the game on the Friday? Not really much time for them to get that turnaround from arriving back from wherever they're travelling from. But they've got to do the professional job and that's mm. the most important thing is getting the three points. No matter how they do it, just get the three points. A professional job is exactly what you've both done here today in the Hive Live studio. So great to have you with us. Great to have you with us uh, at home. Those of you that tune in to watch Watford beat Birmingham City by three goals to nil. Good luck to all the players uh, that are going off to represent their respective nations over the next fortnight. Uh, but in the meantime, I suppose for us, it's a chance for us to get our breath back so that we are ready to go again that Easter weekend and ready for what's going to be a really, really exciting run in for this Watford team. So for now, enjoy the three goals from today and we look forward to seeing you for that big game against Sheffield Wednesday. Take care. Click here for subscribe.